Hello, and I've just read Swamp Thing number one from DC Future State, and I liked it, question mark? Um, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really into Swamp Thing. Um, I did really enjoy the TV show, not going to lie, that was fantastic. And I don't mind him when he pops up in crossover events, or if he pops up in other comic books that I'm reading. I've never minded him, like he doesn't do anything to annoy me in particular. Um, he's just not really interested me as a standalone character. But this this book is gorgeous. Um, from the cover to every single page and panel, it's gorgeous. Um, we start off, we get this um, vocal box or um, uh, vocal cords construction and how he, how he created voice, which is fantastic. Um, he's talking about his kids, I assume, because we get the lungs and the muscles and the emotions. So I assume it's how he built his children. I assume all the other um, green people in this are his kids. So we start off, he's on top of the Statue of Liberty and he's talking to Carla, a little young sapling girl. Um, and she asks how the world, um, how the world, where, where does she say? Tell me what happened to the world that was, well, oh, beautiful line the world that was so he tells the story of how man came about and with man came superpowers with superpowers came anger and hatred and all of this and we find out that um the world fought back there was war some say the greatest war of melting floods bushfires and incurable illness and then when the war ended the humans and their heroes were gone and everything had changed so it looks like he's been alone for a while i mean the city's completely overrun with um growth and the statue of liberty so it's uh, maybe a couple hundred years i'm not too sure there's no time frame but he's talking to this young girl and this guy pops up his name's indigo he's actually quite funny he pops up to tell people basically he tells them the truth he's not lying to them he's just telling them a truth and they don't want to hear it so he gets attacked um swamp thing attacks him because he doesn't want him to speak the truth um which is clearly the truth we find out later on in the book he speaks truth he's not lying he might have a sinister plan or he might be doing it to get a rise but he is speaking the truth and you don't act like that when someone is lying so swamp thing knows he's speaking the truth so oh, look at the face it's beautiful this artwork is stunning absolutely stunning um so there's a fire um in the old human part of the city so they rush down to find that the um there was a human machine that they ran into and it caught on fire and here we get another how he built the muscles it's these are like biology textbook pages they're absolutely gorgeous um so inside there's a an old green person trapped i'm going to call them green people i'm not sure what they are. i don't want to call them things that's a bit mean um, so i'm going to call them green um so there's an old green in there so this female green her name's heather she goes in there to save him and she jumps out of the building and she's got these beautiful leafy wings to help her float down to the ground oh, that's absolutely beautiful so she saves him unfortunately the building's about to fall on them and there's nothing they can do but luckily old father swamp thing shows up makes himself absolutely massive and stops the building from falling on them and they even call him father green which is a uh, green father which is really nice so he has a chat he tells them that he's talking to the trees um looking for humans he wants to know where the humans are what happened to them and the trees say that the humans headed north so they're going to head north and indigo pops back up again again tells them a truth that they don't want to hear it's obviously the truth because heather says shut up fool before i pull your tongue and plant it in the ground now you don't pull out a liar's tongue you pull out the tongue of a man whose words you do not want to hear yes so he's he's definitely going to play a bigger part i think so um we go head north oh before then we get in the lungs that he created for his children absolutely just stunning so we head north and one of their greens has been killed and I, I don't know how you kill a leafy person because I didn't think like Swamp Thing could be killed. He's, I thought like if he got hurt he'd just go small and then get big again but then maybe you need greenery and they are in a snowy place. 
so maybe that's why maybe if they took him back he'd come back it's unclear so he's been killed and they follow some footprints to see who did it and it turns out to be a human he's even got the bloody weapon still in his hands and these greens have never seen a human they don't know what he is or what it is so they attack and they're ready to kill him until Swamp Thing shows up to tell them that it's a human and that they should treat it with kindness and they should speak to it in its own tongue so that's what he plans to do so he sends everyone out so he can have a talk with the human um, they head out and Indigo pops up and once again Indigo speaks the truth and Heather really doesn't want to hear it this time so she punches him so hard she just completely detaches his jaw so I mean yes he's a troublemaker yes he's you know he's popping up and he's saying it in the wrong way but he is speaking truth so just because you don't like what someone has to say doesn't make it any less true so Swamp Thing's talking to the guy and we get another one of those biology panels where this time he's talking about emotions and how he put emotions into the bodies which is it's, this goes into so much detail it's such a good book so he talks to the human and he asks where he's from and he's from a settlement called Star Fortress which I'm guessing is just a, a bigger Star Labs or maybe it's just Star Labs it's, if it's that far in the future they might not have called it Labs they might just call it Star Fortress so he says it was supposed to be a safe place a safe harbour but it turned out not to be so him and 15 or 14 others left he's the only one left alive um, his parents worked there and when they tried to um, tell what was happening they were hung so I mean this book gets dark um, we finish at Star Fortress with this guy I don't know who he is because I don't read Swamp Thing but he does know Swamp Thing he calls him an old friend um, so uh, I don't know who he is unfortunately but it doesn't matter it doesn't, it doesn't take anything away from the book for me because I'm sure I'll find out next issue but he does have obsidian trapped in a test tube or um, some sort of force field thing. Yeah, no, it looks like a test tube. Looks like they're using him. Now, I, if I'm mistaken, I put my hands up. But I think obsidian is the son of Alan Scott, the first Green Lantern from the Justice Society of America. I think I'm not 100% sure. I don't know why I think that. I might think it because it's true or I might think it because I want it to be true but that's what I think um, and I think he's got like shadow powers or darkness powers maybe he can I know he's got some shadowy darkness powers it's not green lantern powers like he can't I don't think he can create constructs but I think he can control shadows or darkness but so I think that's him in there I don't think that's just his suit but then again maybe that's his suit and this is obsidian I, I'm not too sure so we'll have to find out next issue but this the art in this is gorgeous um, the, the characters are all really well done likeable something is just so wise and so um, parental it's such a good book uh, if you're a fan of something then this is a definite um, if you're not a sw fan of something then I mean like I say, I'm not a fan of something, but I don't mind him when he pops up in things, so I, I quite like this. But if you really don't like the character, then this is not for you. But overall, I yeah, I would pick this up if, you're, if you were a fan, if you were interested. I don't think it adds anything to any of the other stories. I didn't see any tie-ins or anything, so you don't need to buy it for that. But overall, this one's a recommend. Um, this is, yeah, after the terrible, terrible Superman of Metropolis, this one's a recommend. So this is the last book of the first week. So this week we have some new books. I'm actually looking forward to Dark Detective. That one better be good. If that one's not good, I'm really, really going to be annoyed because that was one of the few when I very first found out about these that I was interested in. And some of the ones that I've not been interested in have actually been quite good. So I would be very disappointed if Dark Detective is not good. Well, we will find out tomorrow. So take care and 